Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech tutorial. I'm Tom Nasser, the Automation Alchemist, and today in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to use functions and format data in make.com, formerly known as Integromat. Let's get into it. Formatting text and numbers in make is very simple and you don't need to add any special modules to do it. You can format your data within any module in make just by accessing the functions tabs. For example, we have a Slack module in this scenario that sends a message to our tutorials channel. When we click on the text field, a window pops up. By default, it opens to this tab, labeled with a star. In here, you'll find all of the data gathered in our previous steps in this scenario. Each of these other tabs contains several functions that you can use to reformat text, process dates and times, run mathematical calculations, or perform other useful actions. All of the functions are grouped into broad categories. Under the gear, you can find general functions. The X with an exponent denotes math functions. The tab with the letter A contains text functions. Under the calendar icon, you can find functions for working with a date and a time. The icon that resembles a table contains functions for working with arrays while the curly brackets include some variables that refer to the scenario itself, like the scenario URL. Now let's take a look at how you can use these functions. Let's open up the text function and take a look at capitalize. When you hover over any of the functions, more detail and examples will pop up. Just click on the function to add it to the field. Then insert the data that you want the function to use within the parentheses. In this case, we want to make sure that everyone's first name is capitalized. So we'll enter the first name data block between the parentheses. We'll save the scenario, then run it once. When we check Slack, we can see that the message sent with the name properly capitalized. Some functions will require you to provide additional data as well. For instance, let's say we want to add three days to a specific date. Under the date and time functions, we'll choose add days. When we click on it, you can see that it inserts the function into the field along with a semicolon between the parentheses. You can usually find the information you need to complete the function along with the examples when you hover over the function itself. In this case, we need to insert a date before the semicolon and the number of days that we want to add after the semicolon. We'll insert the date retrieved in our trigger, October 12th, and we'll specify that we want to add three days. When we save and run the scenario, we'll see that the correct date in the Slack message, October 15th, shows up. I hope this is a helpful overview for using functions in Make. If you want to know any more about any particular function, just hover over it for details and give it a try. We'll also post some videos soon with walkthroughs for specific functions, so keep an eye out for those. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about no-code and low-code automation, you can follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the description down below. And as always, don't forget, keep the flow.